And updating breaking news at 6.30, remembering a music icon, Tony Bennett has died at the age of 96. Good morning, everybody. I'm Leslie Sykes along with John Gregory and Mark Hoda. Robles Rachel is off today. And we want to get right to our breaking news, an icon, a legend for sure. Eyewitness News reporter Jason Patel live in Hollywood this morning, just arriving there at the star as reaction is just starting to come in after the passing of Tony Bennett. Jasha. John Mark Leslie, that's right. We just got to his star here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Fans are waking up to the sad news and they'll likely be coming by throughout the day to pay tribute. And Bennett, of course, is a music legend and Hollywood icon. Life without care. She's broke. It's over. Appetizing young love for sale. Love for sale. Now, Tony Bennett was 96, just two weeks away from his birthday. His publicist says he died in his hometown in New York. There was no specific cause of death given, but Bennett had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease back in 2016. He has released more than 70 albums and has 19 Grammys, and he's known for many classics like I Left My Heart in San Francisco. He had a decades-long career. Even Frank Sinatra said Tony Bennett was the best singer in the business. Bennett stayed current, and in 2014, at 88 years old, Bennett broke his own record as the oldest living performer with a number one album on the Billboard 200 chart for Cheek to Cheek. That was his project with Lady Gaga. Back out here live, Bennett is survived with by his wife, his two sons, his two daughters, and nine grandchildren. Of Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.